Day one in the Bahamas of our plan to live off the land. And we're going okay. Good start. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm Elena and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. Ice breaks, it's like giants behind me. Whispers in the steps and lies. Your fondest memories about the places you travel are often influenced by the smallest of things. Water the colour of gin, sunset drinks on the beach. If memory is more a construction site rather than a videotape, an individual experience so subjective, then why would anyone's opinion about a destination really even matter? For us, at the time in our lives we were there, the Bahamas was absolutely perfect. I will never forget the hull slicing at 10 knots in water so clear I could make out the coral on the sand below. Sun being shadowed by Argenica purple haze, free diving and spearfishing just all day long. Here are some of our favourite memories from catching our own dinner for an entire summer. Our journey started after leaving Miami and arriving at Bimini Island. Riley was keen to crack into it and even bought me a pulse beer in the States. The kind that's legal in the Bahamas, which is just a pole and a rubber band. It's more traditional and much more difficult to get the fish. I was 25 weeks pregnant and wanted to keep free diving to less than 10 metres, so it would be Riley's job to provide for the family. I'd be on dinghy towing duty for months to come, but I didn't mind. I was much cooler in the ocean. Oh, high five! This is where we're about to go home too. Day one in the Bahamas of our plan to live off the land. And we're going okay, good start. Hogfish, groper, mutton snapper and lobster are the most delicious and luckily some of the most common found here in the Bahamas. I'd also just got my GoPro mount on my mask and I learned to face it more upwards by about the four minute mark, so please do bear with us. I don't know what that is. Pink snapper. It's a bloody good looking snapper, but it's got that spot there. So we've decided that the groper is a red groper. The snapper is a mutton snapper. This one here, with the dot. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Is it cooked? Oh, it's definitely cooked. Riley is so unbelievably obsessed with spearfishing lately, it is hilarious. All he talks about, last night he was sending me, we were sitting next to each other, and he was sending me videos of the last fish that he speared on Facebook. We're sailing at about 7.8 knots and there's no waves and we're in three metres of the clearest water you'll ever lay your eyes on. It doesn't get much better than this. Take a second to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. We put out new videos every week. Cheers! Riley's been having a ball. He's taken down the sails and now he's in the water. He's spotted a groper. I don't know when it happened. He's just, yeah, addicted to the salt water and spearfishing and living off the land. 
Nice. That's perfect size. It's a good height. Yeah. Fish pasta. Uriah is really, really hungry, so nothing sedates him more than a pasta. Uriah always falls asleep after pasta, so I can expect to be on watch for most of the day. better than any spaghetti marinara I've had in any restaurant all over the world. Really? Yep. I've only got one more thing to say about this, Alana. What? I'm gonna try and find some lobster this morning. And now I'm on fish holding duty for Riley. <laughs> you happy? I am wrapped. That is table size snapper. Garlic, butter, salt and pepper. We found an old fire here, so we thought that we would uh, use the same spot. You a happy chap? Mm. We now have half a tank of water which was on empty and we've been able to do that with just the hydro generator and just using the speed of the boat by harnessing the wind and the solar panels. So that is pretty amazing. So we got free water. Because water equals power, doesn't it, Elena? Water equals power? Yeah. What do you mean? E, e equals H2O. I don't get it. Because we use power to make the water. Yeah. So water equals power. It's like storing oh, yeah, the so sun's right. energy in our yeah, water it's tanks. Amazing. And the hydro power as well. That's brilliant, mate. Oh, it's very bloody brilliant. Very interesting. I don't know. Words just don't do it justice. This is insane. It's the first Kibera I've ever shot and the first hogfish worth mentioning and I got the two. Lewis knows a Bahamian gentleman 
who is going to really enjoy this big one. And uh, these ones here, we're going to keep that one and that one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! Bit me. Yeah, that's, that's so disgusting. That's creepy as. Way down by the field where we first met when you stepped through the ice, got the. Uh... Alright, what's going on, Ross? This is Steve, whom uh, we met in Majorca. Right. <laughs> and he's kindly offered for us to stay in his slip. Yeah. I told you in Majorca, if you ever come to the Abacos, then yeah. I gotta show you some hospitality. So yeah. that's what we're doing. You're the best. Thanks a lot. You said, who really cares? Who really cares about us? You said, who really cares? Who really cares about us? When you came back from the South Pacific, the Navy carrier, were you done dishes at a lifetime? Go, Ralph. Good. This is my guy. I shot him too high, about an inch off, perfect. Nice. Very nice. It was like really early in the day, and there was two right there. Steve got the other one, and we swapped it for um, money off lunch, which we got around the corner. Really? Today. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So we're marinating the fish in banana rum. And then a little bit of, uh, actually a little bit of coconut milk, just using this quick pancake mix to like batter it a little bit. Yeah. And then just give it a light fry. Everything comes out the way it should. It should be pretty good. But it's all mixed together. This is the snapper. Is it good? Yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> There's actually a reef up here that I'd like to go and spearfish, but I don't think I'll get a chance. Riley's just convinced me to drop the sails and take him for a drift dive. He's found a place called Chub Rocks. It's a shallow reef out in the middle of nowhere, so bound to have fish. He couldn't help himself. I've just made lunch. He's probably not going to eat it until he gets back. Not even joking, first dive down. That was the first dive and he has a whole fish. You're unbelievable. Show me. <laughs> he is a madman. First dive, hey? Can you, grab, can you get that off? Wow! Lux! Oh my gosh! Oh dear. Wow! Oh man, that was hard. <laughs> They're all in a old tyre, which you can't even tell. It's been down there for a thousand years. Well, I got one pretty quickly. And then one would try and go out and I'd go down and he'd swim back to the hole. But anyway, once I had two in my hands and then I saw a third one, which was another, you know, not big, but edible, whereas there were smaller ones in there that I'd grab and, and then put back. Very nice.
boca guanabar la vena yuca, esta boca vena yuro y barumé, esta boca guanabar la vena yuro, esta boca vena yuro y barumé. Pretty stoked with Riley's effort, although I did spot the hogfish, didn't I, Riles? Massive lobster. This is a huge lobster. Very nice. Yeah, you did well. It was pretty murky. Well, we were hunting for fish. We weren't sort of having fun free diving. I like to do both, but can't have that's everything, right. mate. We got dinner. You can't oh, have not everything, mate. <laughs> to see him because he's about half a nautical mile away. Riley went swimming with his buoy and I'm just gonna launch the dinghy and go and meet Riley over there and go for a swim. It's too hot to be on this boat right now. <laughs> you wanted today and you got it. I've, to be fair, I've wanted this for a few days. She is a beauty. Congrats, Ralph. Thank you. After an amazing few months, we returned to Australia to have Lenny. Make sure you check out part two coming next Friday for more fishing. I got the big fish. And now with an extra mouth to feed. You a bit puff, Lenny. You stay there and have a rest, mate. Lenny, you see the fish? Can you see them? Mm -hmm.